In this section, we are going to take a look at high performance Java. How frameworks like Javolution can help you to make your Java applications faster and more time predictable, even up to real time behavior. What the performance improvements of GNU Trove, also known as uh, Trove4j, or what the standard Java collection classes are, and how Eclipse collections provide more memory efficient implementations of Java collections elements like set or map, as well as primitive collections, and how it compares to the JDK, as well as other frameworks like Vavra or Google Guava. Javolution. In this video, we are going to take a look at Javolution. What Javolution is about, the top 10 reasons to use it, a quick benchmark, followed by a live demo of Javolution. Javolution is an open source library for real time Java applications that can run with little or no effect of garbage collection. Javolution's real time goals are simple to make your application faster and more time predictable. Here are the top 10 reasons why you should use Javolution, at least in certain applications, especially when they are time or safety critical. Javolution classes are easy to use. In many cases, they are simpler than the JDK classes. You don't need to guess what a text builder, a fast table, or a fast map are about. It allows separation of concerns, for example, for logging or configuration uh, through the use of contexts or by using the configurable element. Javolution classes are very fast, for example, text insertion uh, or removal and changes of strings compared to the standard string buffer or string builder in the JDK. All Javolution classes are real-time compliant. They follow the Java real-time specifications with documented real-time behavior. And Javolution also makes it easy to take advantage of multi-core or multi-processor systems in modern computers. The real-time collection API of Javolution can usually be used as a drop-in replacement for the standard collection classes, offering additional capabilities, but they are backward compatible, so existing code can easily be adopted to make use of Javolution. Any Java class can be serialized in XML format in the form of your choice, and there is no need to implement serializable for that. Javolution also provides C and C++-like functionality, for example, the struct and union classes for direct interoperability with C and C++ applications. Javolution integrates well with OSGI, for example, in Eclipse or in server-side environments like Apache Caraf, but it can also be used uh, as a standard Java library without OSGI. Javolution can be a pure Java solution, or there's also a pure native solution, a C++ mirror, and they're both very small. They use less than 400 kilobytes for the entire library. Here's a quick benchmark. That I'm also going to demonstrate live afterward as part of the demo, comparing the string builder that's part of the JDK with the text builder from Javolution. And here you see a on top is the result of string builder and on the bottom the same with using text builder which shows that the smaller time uh, means it's approximately 25 percent faster than string builder even in java 8 which has already been significantly improved over previous jdk's and it's more stable and predictable with a delta of only 0.07 compared to 0.13 for the JDK classes. The garbage collection metrics are relatively similar and pretty comparable. This is the benchmark from the slides. Although the numbers can sometimes differ, the 
result shows that in all cases the Javolution text builder is faster than string builder and the deltas are also significantly lower here 0 0.05 uh, compared to 0 0.22 so Javolution's API provides a more predictable result Then next a comparison of fast map took a little while I reported all of its results to a CSV file that will open with Excel and here it shows with a repeated run of running this 150 times the first column is the consumed memory the second one is how many nanoseconds each loop took and the third column is the free memory in megabyte and then another unit test in this one there are actually several map implementations we're going to take a look at GNU Drove or Drove4j in the next video but here it's also compared to Javolution's fast map and some of the standard Java util map implementations as you can see at the end uh, fast map sticks out because it takes on average uh, the lowest amount of memory 35 bytes while all the other map structures take some of them take even more than twice for example here the tree map or the hash map in the jdk and even the drove map structures are less efficient in this case.